Let's be honest, the iPhone standby mode looks cool, but most of us stopped using it after a week. It feels more like a screensaver than something actually useful. But here's the thing, standby isn't useless, it's just badly set up by default. Once I customized it properly, it completely changed how I use my iPhone while it's charging. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I made my standby mode genuinely useful in my everyday life. So let's get started. Standby mode on iPhone is basically a smart screen that turns on when your phone is charging and placed horizontally, showing you useful stuff like a big clock, widgets, photos and live updates at a glance. Instead of your phone just sitting there locked, it becomes a mini dashboard that you can glance at from your desk, nightstand or kitchen and once you customize it, it actually becomes really useful. You scroll sideways to move between clock, photos and widgets page or scroll up or down to move between more options on that particular page. Long press on the clock to further personalize it. Change the style, colors and stuff. You can also set up the world map with clocks of different countries here too. If you don't see standby mode turning on when you place your iPhone sideways on the charger, the first thing you need to do is enable it in settings. Scroll down, tap on standby and make sure the main toggle is turned on. While you're here, there are a few important settings that I highly recommend tweaking. Tap on display and set it to automatically. Then turn on night mode. If you don't want your standby mode to turn off ever, set it to never. This is especially useful if your phone sits on your bedside table because in low light or at night, standby switches to a red tinted display that's much easier on your eyes and works perfectly as a bedside clock. I would also turn on motion to wake so the standby screen lights up automatically when it detects movement instead of completely turned off. Once that's done, go back to the main standby settings page. Here you can choose whether notifications shows up in standby mode. If you're often around other people, like at work, you might want to turn this off for privacy. Or a good middle ground is enabling show preview on tap only, which keeps notifications hidden until you tap the screen. Smart Stack is one of the most underrated feature in standby mode and honestly it's what makes standby feel more smarter instead of static. Instead of showing just one widget all the time, Smart Stack automatically rotates through different widgets based on the time of the day, your location and how you use your phone. For example, in the morning it might show you the weather and your calendar. During work hours, it might switch to reminders or focus related widgets. In the evening, it might show you your next day's schedule or a clock. The best part is that you don't have to swipe or interact with it. Changes on its own, which makes it perfect for glanceable use. In daily life, it's incredibly useful because it reduces how often you need to pick up and unlock your iPhone. You get the right information at the right time without doing anything. At your desk, Smart Stack can quietly keep you on track with meetings and tasks. At night, it can shift to a simple clock so it's not distracting. To enable Smart Stack in standby mode, place your iPhone on the charger in landscape to enter standby. Swipe to go to the widgets page, then long press on the widget area to customize it. Now you will see the Smart Rotate option. Turn it on so the widgets change automatically based on the context. Once that's set up, Standby will start rotating widgets for you without any extra effort. Live activities are one of those reasons Standby mode actually feels useful instead of just decorative. When your iPhone is charging sideways, Standby can show real-time updates from apps right on the screen without you needing to unlock your phone. Things like timers, food delivery status, ride tracking or even workout timers stay visible and update live. So instead of constantly picking up your phone to check progress, you can just glance over and instantly know what's going on. When you set a timer and enter the standby mode, you see the small timer icon on top. Click on it and you will get this beautiful animation that shows real-time timer increment. Same with activity. If your phone is on charge and you start a workout on your phone or watch, 
you get live activity on screen. And the best part is, you can control it right from here. One of my favorite ways to use standby mode is a quick smart home control panel. When my iPhone is charging sideways, I can add home widgets to standby and control things like lights, fans, AC or smart plugs without even unlocking my phone. It's surprisingly convenient, especially when I'm working and don't want to open apps or deal with a bright screen. I can just glance over, tap once, turn things on or off, long press on widgets page, Tap plus icon, scroll down to select home app. Now you can select this accessories widget so you can control lights directly from here. Similarly, remove it. Long press again and remove it like this. You can set other most used apps as widget here too. Another really nice way to customize standby mode is by using photo albums instead of letting it show random pictures. If you like having a photo slideshow on your standby screen, you can choose exactly what shows up. Long press on the photo screen in standby, tap the plus icon and select a specific album from your photos app. Apple also intelligently groups photos into categories like nature, featured, cities or people. So you can simply pick one of these. For example, if you choose cities, standby will automatically rotate through all the city photos from your library. And if there is any album or category that you don't want to show up, just tap the eye icon to hide it. This way your standby screen feels more personal and intentional, not just random or distracting pictures. So that's how I actually use my iPhone standby mode in real life. Once you stop treating it like a fancy screensaver and start customizing it around your routine, it becomes genuinely useful. The key is setting it up intentionally so it works for you, not the other way around. If you have been ignoring standby mode until now, I would definitely recommend giving it another try with these tweaks. And if this video was helpful, let me know in the comments which standby setup you are going to use, desk or bedside. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.